An extensor reflex is initiated by a painful stimulus and occurs at the same time as the flexor reflex. It results in the reflex contraction of the extensor muscles of the unharmed limb, allowing the body to retain its balance while the flexor reflex withdraws the harmed limb away from the stimulus. The reflex begins when free nerve endings of a pain-sensitive neuron are activated in response to a painful stimulus, such as stepping on a nail. This fires an action potential along a somatic sensory neuron, which travels via the dorsal root of a spinal nerve into the spinal cord. Here, the sensory neuron synapses with interneurons. The interneurons synapse contralaterally with motor neurons in the anterior gray horn in multiple segments of the spinal cord. Action potentials are propagated along these motor neurons via the ventral roots of spinal nerves to presynaptic axon terminals of neuromuscular junctions in the extensor muscle fibers of the thigh of the unharmed limb. This leads to muscular contraction, causing the limb to stabilize the body during the withdrawal action. The sensory neuron also synapses contralaterally with inhibitory interneurons, which in turn synapse with motor neurons that control the antagonistic muscles.